Welcome back, my name is Kerry, and today I'm gonna to show you a line of prefab homes built to withstand 180 mile per hour winds. I've been looking around at what's all available in offsite construction for a while now, and it appears that I've been favoring one side of the continent, and it hasn't gone unnoticed. The fact that I live on the left side of North America has nothing to do with what I feature, it just seems like more of the options are over here but not all of them. I know people are looking for options all over the place and it likely isn't always feasible or logical to ship something from California. So I put on my thinking cap to show something completely different and hopefully it'll result in a few people hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm. An afternoon spent surfing the web and eating Cheetos turned up some interesting options to people in an area that I really need to talk about more because there's some stuff going on. Really cool stuff. The company I'm talking about is called Affinity Building Systems with their line of high performance structures that come in awesome designs. What I'm going to do is tell you about the company, check out their homes and let you know where they're available. Affinity Building Systems is a modular home manufacturer located in Georgia, providing modular buildings to the southeast. Here's one for you. It says they're located just north of the Florida Georgia state line. I'm going to risk exposing myself as simple here, but did everyone realize that's where the name of the band came from? The state line? <laughs> Probably, everyone probably did. I get a lot of people asking for options in and around this general area, so it's worth noting that they service Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Tennessee. They've got a lot to offer. On top of single family residential, they build multifamily, hospitality, and commercial structures, such as offices, hotels, and apartments. Lots going on over at Affinity. What they've got is about 110,000 square feet of manufacturing space on their 13-acre complex that spits out some sweet-looking homes. They say Affinity Building Systems uses the most sophisticated systems-built technologies to construct single-family, multifamily, and commercial properties. The owners of Affinity Building Systems have over 100 years of combined experience in all aspects of real estate development, design, and and management. By combining ABS owners vast experience in the real estate industry with today's most modern machinery and technology, we are able to bring you high quality homes with superior exterior designs. A couple things to unpack here. First of all, a hundred years of combined experience is a huge flex and not easy to come by unless they've got like 100 owners. Second, I love the nod to machinery and technology. Offsite construction has been around for a long time but still has a lot of room to grow and I think technology and automation will help take it to another level and make it mainstream. People in this industry, myself included, love to spout off about how other industries have been transformed by tech and construction hasn't changed for like 100 years and is ripe for disruption. If you've watched any of my videos, you've probably heard me say something along those lines because I think it's true. People do seem to be excited about new housing options and building off-site with the help of technology is one way we're gonna get them. Affinity Building Systems, or ABS for short, operate a bit different from a business standpoint than some of the other companies I've posted about recently. If I'm a buyer, I can't march into ABS and get one of their homes directly from them. They have a network of independent authorized builders throughout the Southeast. I believe the reason for this model is the ability to scale up production. They can focus on the factory output and building more homes without having to worry about the logistics of every single build site in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi. You get the point. They've got their network of builders to look after setting up transport, build foundations, line up subcontractors, and all that fun stuff so they can focus on the operations inside the factory and scale the business. If you want to get your mitts on one of their units, the buying process is as follows. Step one is to find out if they can build what you want and find out how much it'll cost. Step two is securing financing. Step three is design development. Step four is finalizing the order. Step five is building the new home in the factory. Step six is delivery and setup. Step seven is on-site finishes. And step eight is building inspection. They've got some really interesting initiatives going on, so let's check out a few of these homes. One of the cool things they've got going on that people may be able to benefit from is what they call their fast track homes. The entire purpose of the line is to be able to get homes to people who lost their home in a hurricane quickly, which is a great idea. The website says these homes have been pre-engineered for high wind zones, 
up to and including 180 mile per hour winds. They have also been designed for elevated foundations, although some renderings do not depict this. So basically they're able to slot these homes in the queue immediately after they're ordered because the homes have already been signed off by engineering. They're able to cut an entire step out of the process, which saves time. Just so people aren't confused, I would be very surprised if this was like a skip the line pass at Disneyland. You aren't going in front of all the other orders, just in front of the orders that are waiting to be engineered. You cut out a step. The catch is you can't make any structural changes to the plans. That would require them to go through engineering again, which defeats the whole purpose. Changes to decor such as paint, counters, kitchen and bathroom fixtures, and stuff like that is no problem. Just no structural changes. It's kind of like getting a stock sandwich off Subway's website. You likely can't get a meatball sub with turkey cut the old way toasted for three and a half seconds, but you can get some classic builds and it's faster. I think it's a great idea. Let's have a look at a few of the floor plans available in the program. One of the first listed is called the ABS 1751 P2. Okay. This home has the beach vibe dialed to 10 with the almost sky blue exterior and in the right situation I like it. I don't have any experience with homes on stilts so this is quite exciting for me. You get a couple places to park your cars underneath and they've also plumbed in an outdoor shower which again given the correct climate is a feature I think most people could get on board with. The home has a traditional look with a peaked roof and built in 10 foot covered porch on one half of the home. Inside, they've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms in 1,350 square feet. The way the plan is set up, the main entrance is accessed from a set of stairs on the exterior that lands near the kitchen. One half of the home is designated living space with the kitchen, dining room, living room, and covered patio. The main bathroom is tucked in beside the kitchen, then the other half is the bedrooms and bathroom. The main bedroom has an ensuite and double closet, so all in all this is a great plan, made even better by the fact that the thing is on stilts. The other plan in the program that I think is worth a mention is an option for people who like a little bit more space called the Kingfisher. Already off to a better start with the name. The Kingfisher is a two-story, three-bedroom, two-bathroom home that also has been engineered for a raised foundation or pilings and a 180 mile per hour wind zone. This home is made up of four modules and I like the way the top floor is offset from the bottom and it has two covered outdoor spaces. The main floor has the living space and kitchen with double doors out of both to the patio. The back of the home has two bedrooms, a bathroom and stairs to the second floor. The entire upstairs is the main bedroom. This is more of a retreat than a bedroom. Look at this thing. It has a full walk-in closet, an ensuite, and access to a porch that is just for that bedroom. I've never lived in a home that had a private balcony for my bedroom, but I bet it's good living. Out of the two plans, I think the Kingfisher is my favorite, but both have their own things going for them. The pricing for their homes depends on where the home is going and what independent builder is being used, so they're going to vary from place to place. They've got a ton of plans available on their website, so worth a look if you like what they got going on. On top of that, they offer factory tours the second Saturday of every month, which gives interested parties a behind the scenes look at how everything is done from start to finish. I always find that stuff interesting so if I'm ever anywhere near the Florida Georgia line on the second Saturday of the month you best believe I'll be stopping by to check it out. Affinity Building Systems is a southeast based modular home builder offering a wide variety of prefabricated buildings. They've got your single family, multifamily and commercial all available with that tropical vibe that I think looks great. I've had multiple requests for builders servicing the southeast and larger options, so hopefully this will tick a few boxes for people who are looking for either. I think they've got a great look and they've got a ton of interesting builds going on, so I'll definitely be following along with what they're up to and posting updates right here on my YouTube channel. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.